we started working with them, what, a little over a year, almost two years ago. They have been very faithful and diligent recruiters for churches in our areas to offer wraparound services. We've been able to reach out with them with requests for items that we couldn't financially provide, like if we had a family that needed a swimming pool ladder that was out of compliance or a gas card that we might not be able to fit through our budget line items. And they've reached out to those churches and been able to truly help our families. We have churches at the table now where before we didn't, trying to figure out how to solve this issue. When we have a small group of individuals sitting around some tables and we're just able to just have a conversation and tell them, hey, here in our county, this is our need. This is how many kids we've got in custody. It just makes a world of difference. And then, you know, for the group to stop and they'll immediately just start praying for those children and praying for the homes and then just start thinking about what each church and what each individual can do to make a difference for those families. And it's really helped with awareness and just kind of spreading our story and what's going on here. Usually our role is just to share the information, to share the data, to share that here in our little area of Tennessee, it's 14 counties, we've got 800 kids in foster care. And just to see people's faces in the shock of those numbers. We've had one church that started having opportunities where uh, foster parents, they kind of have like date nights where they can bring the kids, drop them off. They know the kids are going to be fed, kept, entertained, and they can go off and have a great night on their own and spend some quality time together and know the kids are well taken care of. My thought would be that if each church in our area had simply one or two foster families in every church, what a difference that can make for our kids in custody. You know, every child could have a home to go to. That, that would be staggering for them. What would it look like for us as caseworkers if all of our kids had a home and we weren't frantically searching? Stephanie and I have both, we've worked here for so long and this is what we've almost dreamed to have is to sit with a group of people and then look at us and say, we want to help you. <laughs> We're so sorry. We, we can't believe this is happening. What can we do to help? And just hearing that is just such a relief and so comforting to know that, that there is a group of people out there that want to put down a plan, you know, go back, talk to their congregations and decide what they can do best for our families and kids.